Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. We have a, a young patient that has presented to our office today for the first time. Flew all the way from California to Miami, the 305 here, to have minimally invasive uh, foot surgery. Um, patient has these really, really unsightly, ugly corns. Uh, let's just show the public because I want them to see the clinical presentation and then we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Everyone can see these are very unsightly. Um, patient is non-weight bearing. Basically, if the patient was uh, standing, uh, the fifth toes would essentially look like two little shrimps, right? Kind of like that. They're completely rotated on their sides. Let's take a look at the, at the right as well. Okay, so these, these are just plain old ugly. I speak the truth. They're ugly and you know, we have seen a lot of patients from all walks of life that come here for these ugly corns. It affects people socially, emotionally, psychosocially. Yes or no? Correct. Correct. And 99.99% .99 of the population that come here will say the same thing. Now, the truth behind callus removers. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you. These callus removers should be basically banned. They should be banned for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, the patient and I were just talking. There is, there are multiple variables, okay? There are multiple variables that when, including skin type, right? Something that's really important in, in surgery uh, and or before surgery. These callus removers, have different ingredients and we're not we're not going to go through the you know the entire list but let's just say the most important ingredient is an acid right the acid basically essentially burns the skin that's how it eats away the callus or the corn so when people are thinking that oh it's getting better all it's doing it is making everything worse and and that's a big problem easily hands down bar none 90 to 95 percent of the patients that come in for surgery for this the ugly corns they have used or they have tried callus removers which have made everything completely a disaster That is the truth of these callus uh, removers, callus corn removers. Things that they never tell you, I'm telling the world. They should be grabbed, whoops, and, uh, and they should be completely banned, period. The patients come here with these, with these eyesores right and and I feel so sorry the first question I always ask what uh, you know did you use these corn removers yes I did dr. Wagner and it made it worse I just fractured my finger just kidding uh, anyways so, you know, that's, that's what I have to say. You know, some people have asked me about, you know, they ask me, you know, questions every day. A lot of people ask me about these uh, corn removers. What should I do to remove the corn? What should I do? Should I pumice it? Should I not? Uh, um, some over-the-counter items, some, you know, home remedies, et cetera, et cetera. But the, but, the, but the real truth is that they do more harm than good. And if you don't believe me, go out, buy some, and pop it right on the corn. You know what's gonna happen? Popcorn. So let's be mindful, right? About what we apply to these clinical presentations. These pesky little corns and or calluses. We will continue to do what we do. We're gonna continue to educate the world that minimally invasive foot and ankle surgery does exist. We will continue to educate the world that aesthetic foot and ankle surgery does exist. And we will continue to change the world of one corn and one callus at a time. 
Have a nice day, everyone.